Date Masamune was a military commander and warlord during the Sengoku Jidai era of Japan. Before his death, he would control most of the northern provinces, including Dewa province and Mutsu province. He was the 17th head of the Date clan. As a modern daimyo, he was the first feudal lord of the Sendai domain. Date Masamune was born in 1567 at Yonezawa Castle in Dewa province and was the heir to the Date clan. His father, Daimyo Date Terumune, the 16th clan head, granted him the same name as his ancestor who raised the Date clan to Daimyo status in the Muromachi period 150 years earlier. As a child, he contracted smallpox, and though he survived, he permanently lost sight in his right eye, which would lead to his famous nickname, the One-Eyed Dragon. Though in modern media he is often depicted wearing an eye patch, there is no evidence that he ever did so in real life to hide his eye. In many old paintings of him, both eyes are revealed, but his right eye is often depicted as smaller or painted black. The eye patch trend has been noted to have started in the 1940s, where actors who portrayed him in movies would cover up the right eye with an eye patch and continue ever since, making his eye patch almost synonymous with his character these days. After his coming of age ceremony at the age of 11, he went to Kyoto to swear fealty to the Shogun, as was customary among the Date clan, but he was driven out by Oda Nobunaga who held de facto power at the time. A few months later, a marriage was arranged between Masamune and the daughter of Tamura Kiyoaki, the lord of Miharu Castle in Sendo. The preparations were made, and the two were wed at the ages of 13 and 11, respectively. According to family documents, Masamune and his new wife actually shared a great-grandfather, making them second cousins. At the age of 14, in early May 1581, he entered his first military campaign helping his father fight the Soma clan. In addition to fighting in battles, he was sent as a representative to Date clan allies and was responsible for them bringing reinforcements to the battles. After seeing a succession crisis in neighboring province, his father decided to retire, passing along his title to Masamune while he was still in good health and able to oversee the transition making Masamune the 17th head of the Date clan in October 1584. At this time, Masamune was going to decline because of his youth, but at the recommendation of family and senior vassals, he finally relented. A few years later, some of his father-in-law's vassals, the Oichi and the Hatakayama, decided to declare their independence from the Tamura. And though Masamune and his father, Terumune, tried to end the matter peacefully, it was no use. After attacking a stunning victory in May 1585, he sent troops to Odemori Castle in August, killing all those who were inside as an example to neighboring countries. Hatakeyama Yoshitsugu, who saw the fall of the Ochi up close, offered peace and was left with only a small area of land comprising five villages around Nihomatsu Castle in peace talks mediated by Terumune. However, on the way home from the peace talks, Terumune was abducted. Masamune, who was out for falconry at the time, hurriedly returned to pursue Yoshitsugu and ordered his men to open fire to kill his father's captors, though his father was caught in the crossfire and was also killed. There is also a theory that this whole series of events was a plot by Masamune to kill his father, based on the fact that for some reason all of the soldiers Masamune brought with him to go falconing were armed with guns. After the traditional seven days of mourning, he set out to avenge his father, 
besieging Nihomatsu Castle with 13,000 soldiers. Unfortunately for him, a coalition force of 30,000 soldiers, led by the Satake clan, came to relieve the siege. Masamune left a token force to hold the siege and took the remaining 7,000 soldiers to face the oncoming army. At the Battle of Hitoribashi, the Satake forces were easily able to overwhelm the much smaller Date forces. Masamune himself was wounded in the fighting, reportedly taking an arrow and five bullets to his armor, and may have died if not for a vassal, Oniwa Satsukisai, who held the rear guard. The battle ended at sunset, but when the sun rose, another attack never came because the coalition forces went home. There are several theories about why the coalition forces left, including the conspiracy that Masamune was behind the whole charade. Though what most likely happened was a series of interweaving events that led to the dissolution of the coalition, including where the child of one of the lords was murdered in the night by one of his own vassals, Another lord just decided to go home, because he was sure that the Date were sufficiently defeated. And rumors that another daimyo was going to attack their homes made them want to turn back. Whatever the case may be, Masumune woke the next day to find his enemies retreating, allowing him to take Nihonmatsu Castle. The same year, the emperor wished to rebuild the temples at Mount Hie after Oda Nobunaga burned them down some years prior. So he asked Masamune for a donation to the funds, offering him the official position of governor of Mimasaka province. It is said that Masamune declined the offer, citing the tensions around his own lands as the reason he could not spare the funds. It should be noted, however, that the Date clan had held the title of the stewards of Sakyo Ward in Kyoto for several generations, so he might have considered the governorship offer as a downgrade. That being said, some claim that Masamune did not decline the offer, but that the message was lost due to the various wars going on at the time. While Masamune was busy in northern Japan, the rest of the country was taken by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who completed his conquest of most of the mainland as well as the islands of Shikoku and Kyushu by 1587. Hideyoshi would then try to stabilize his lands by enacting various government reforms and laws, such as declaring that all daimyo were prohibited from fighting one another, and that all conflicts must be resolved in a court of law. Masamune, unconcerned with the political dealings of the imperial court, continued his wars for consolidation taking progressively more land and growing his own power without retribution from Hideyoshi. He would go on to control most of northern Japan and build one of the largest territorial domains at the time. When fighting broke out between the Hojo clan and Hideyoshi in 1590, Masumune, who was 23 at the time, did not know who to side with. The Hojo and Date clans had been allies since the time of his father but Hideyoshi was the strongest power in Japan, and the de facto ruler. Hideyoshi marched on Odawara Castle, sending out a call to arms to all those nearby, so that they would send soldiers to help, including Masamune. Unable to make a decision on who to side with, Masamune chose to delay his response, marching his soldiers slowly south through the territories owned by the Uesugi. Upon seeing the vast number of soldiers Hideyoshi commanded, he decided to swear fealty as well. Hideyoshi confiscated the Date lands in Aizu province as a punishment for Masamune's late arrival and for ignoring his ban on wars. Though that still left the Date with their ancestral holdings of 720,000 koku in the provinces of Mutsu and Dewa, he was also ordered to send his wife to the capital of Kyoto as a hostage. The Hojo clan soon surrendered as well, allowing Hideyoshi to complete his conquest of all of Japan. 
The following year, in 1591, it was claimed that Masamune encouraged a rebellion among the Ikuiki against the new Hideyoshi government. The evidence presented was a letter signed by Masamune himself, which was called to incite the violence, and a rumor that the Date flag was raised above the castle of the Ikuiki. In addition, it was claimed that the wife he had sent to Kyoto as a hostage was an imposter and that his real wife was still hidden away in his home castle. He was summoned to Kyoto to respond to his alleged crimes in front of Hideyoshi, where he explicitly denied them, claiming the letter was false and that his wife was not an imposter. After hearing Masamune's defense, Hideyoshi chose to neither confirm nor deny Masamune's involvement in the affairs, choosing instead to give Masamune new land around Iwadeyama Castle in exchange for taking away the land where the Ikkoiki had rebelled to be controlled by the state. In reality, this reduced the Date lands from 720,000 koku down to 580,000 koku. In 1595, Hideyoshi's adopted son, Hidetsugu, was suspected of treason and plotting to murder Hideyoshi's heir, Hideyori, and as such was ordered to commit seppuku, along with the murder of his entire family. Masamune had held close ties to Hidetsugu, with Hidetsugu's wife being a cousin of Masamune. Because of their friendship, Masamune was believed to have participated in the suspect. Because of their friendship, Masamune was believed to have participated in the suspected treason of Hidetsugu, and Hideyoshi was tempted to order his execution as well. He only survived the incident due to the intervention of two of his vassals, who spoke on his behalf with Hideyoshi, and were able to convince him that Ma Masamune was not involved. In response to this situation, however, 19 senior Date vassals got together and agreed that if Masamune was suspected of rebellion in the future, then he would be forced to immediately retire as the head of the clan. Hideyoshi would go on to die in 1598 due to ongoing health problems and would leave the land in the hands of his five regents. After his death, Tokugawa Ieyasu began maneuvering his allies and gathering his forces to make a run at the capital. Ieyasu had been moved to the lands previously held by the Hojo clan, giving him a large power base that bordered the Uesugi and the Date clans. As part of his preparations for battle, Ieyasu wanted a sufficient force to counterbalance the Uesugi influence in the north, and so he turned to the Date for their aid. In 1599, Masamune's eldest son and one of Ieyasu's daughters were married, cementing their alliance. So when Ieyasu marched on his Sekigahara campaign in 1600, Masamune added his forces from the north. In the year 1600, when Masamune was 33, Ieyasu launched a campaign against the Uesugi clan in Aizu province, claiming Uesugi Kagekatsu committed treason. While Ieyasu was out on his campaign, one of the members of the Council of Five Elders, Ishida Mitsunari, claimed that Ieyasu's accusation against the Uesugi was false and that Ieyasu was just trying to gain more land for himself. He in turn accused Ieyasu of committing treason and raised an army against him with Mori Terumoto as a supreme commander. Upon hearing this news, Ieyasu turned west to face the new threat and sent a letter to Masamune offering 490,000 koku as a reward for his help, which would almost double his territory. It is believed that Ieyasu considered Masamune's participation to be crucial in holding back the Uesugi so he could turn his attention elsewhere. When Ieyasu won at the Battle of Sekigahara, Masamune expected his reward, 
though he was denied due to further accusations of attempting to incite and aid rebellions around his territory. In the end, he was granted only an additional 40,000 koku, bringing bringing his total to 620,000 koku, making him the fourth largest landowner behind the Maeda in Kaga province, the Shimazu in Satsuma province, and the Matsudaira in Fukui province. He would obtain permission from Ieyasu to move his capital to Sendai in 1601, and he began the construction of his new castle in the town below it. The Sendai castle was a castle atop a mountain with a defense system utilizing the natural terrain. While the construction of the castle town at the foot of the Sendai Jo castle became a major construction project that would require 1 million people to complete the comprehensive development throughout the area. For the administration of the domain, Masamune established 48 offices and allocated his vassals to each office. He would be the only daimyo to receive the rights to negotiate with powers outside of Japan, and used that to plan trade between his Sendai domain and the Spanish Empire. He sent his vassal, Hasekura Tsunenaga, and a Franciscan missionary, as the leader of a delegation of more than 180 people being the first Japanese people to sail across the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and visit Europe. Along their diplomatic mission to visit the King of Spain, they stopped in the Spanish colony of Mexico as well, and even ventured as far as the Pope in Rome before coming home. When Ieyasu marched on Osaka Castle in 1614, Masamune, at the age of 47, led soldiers in the assault. After the first siege of Osaka, the Date soldiers were given the task to fill in the outer moat of the Sanada Maru, which had held back the Tokugawa forces. When the second siege of Osaka happened the following year, the Date once again marched with Ieyasu, fighting against Goto Mototsugu in the Battle of Domyoji. The Date forces were able to rout Mototsugu, killing him in the chaos. Though when Sanada Yukimura led a counter charge against the Tokugawa forces, Masamune denied sending in his soldiers as reinforcements, claiming that they were all out of ammunition and had many wounded. Sanada Yukimura is claimed to have insulted Masamune's refusal to face him by saying, even if there are a million people in the Kanto region, I don't see any men among them. There is a story that claims that in a battle, Masamune knowingly killed 300 allied soldiers who were surrounded by their enemies. When confronted by the lord of those soldiers, he was reported to have said that I did what needed I did what I needed to do in order to win. The Date do not discriminate between friend and foe. After the world settled down, he focused exclusively on the development of his territory and later developed a canal called Sadayamabori. He organized and cultivated the basin of the Kitakami River system, making it a breadbasket that continues to the present day. As a result, even though the Sendai area only had 620,000 koku, it produced an agricultural output equivalent to 745,000 koku. He was also a patron of culture, inviting engineers and carpenters, and created a style that added to the characteristics of northern countries to the majestic splendor characteristic of Momoyama culture which can be seen in several temples and shrines still present today. In addition, he invited an engineer from Omi province to build up Ishinomaki port at the mouth of the Kitakami River. This resulted in a system where rice could be transported down the Kitakami River 
and sent to the new capital of Edo by a sea route, making it much faster and more profitable. Sendai rice was exported to Edo from 1632, and at its peak it was described that one-third of all rice in Edo came from Oshu. Masamune would continue to serve the Tokugawa shoguns long after Ieyasu died in 1616. One story which shows his devotion to the shogun in his later years happened on April 16, 1628. Masamune invited Ieyasu's son and shogun Tokugawa Hidetada to the Edo office of Sendai Domain. During the visit, Masamune himself served the dishes to Hidetada. Before eating the food, a close vassal of Hidetada, Naito Masahige, demanded that Masamune eat the food first to determine if it was poisoned. According to an account in The Wise Sayings of the Lord Masamune, it is described that Masamune was outraged by this request and responded as follows. This is an unreasonable request. This is not the occasion necessary to test dishes for poisoning. Putting poison is an old method used 10 years ago in an unstable time. Whereas even 10 years ago, I swear to the gods of Japan that I would never utilize a cowardly method such as poisoning and never think of assassination. I would go into battle myself and fight at least once. In other words, he was saying that he would have plotted a revolt if it was 10 years ago, shortly after Ieyasu's death. Since the foundation of the Tokugawa shogunate was not stable and solid yet. But Masamune would not utilize such trivial method as poisoning even at that time, but to fight directly in a battle. It is claimed that when Masamune rebuked Masashige, Hidetada heard their exchanges behind a bamboo blind and shed tears in saying, That is just the Lord Date, a lofty, admirable man. When Ieyasu's grandson, Iemitsu, instituted the Sankin Kotai, where over 250 daimyo were forced to spend every other year in Edo, Masamune was said to have declared that if any wished to oppose the new edict, he would make them attend by force. He would become very close to the shogun Iemitsu, often being called a second father to the young man, who would often ask Masamune, one of the last surviving members who had fought during the Sengoku Jidai, to tell him stories of the battles and his memories of Hideyoshi and Ieyasu. He was one of the few samurai who were allowed to carry a weapon while in Iemitsu's presence. Though there is a story where Masamune's swords were examined while he was passed out after drinking, only to discover that the swords he carried around Iemitsu were made of wood. Masamune's health started to decline around 1634, where he complained of a loss of appetite and difficulty swallowing. Two years later in 1636, he would travel to Edo for the last time, unable to eat anything on the journey due to his illness. He died in Edo on May 24th at 68 years old, though it is said that he maintained a cheery disposition even on his deathbed. Iemitsu would visit him three days before his death, and is said to have mourned more over Masamune than for the death of his own father. His body was placed in a wooden coffin and returned to Sendai along with the 15 vassals who chose to commit seppuku to follow their lord in death, in a procession befitting his status as a daimyo. To mourn his death, there was a ban placed on the catching of fish and birds, as well as the playing of music for seven days in Edo and three days in Kyoto. His death poem reads as, In this dark world, I followed the light of my heart. His son, Tadamune, built Zuihoden Temple in Sendai to serve as a mausoleum, and it was designated as a national treasure in 1931 before being burnt down during World War II. The current temple was rebuilt by the city of Sendai in 1979.